Hello and welcome to another edition of Science Geeks! <laughs> Have you ever wondered what affects the stopping distance of a car? No. Nah. Well, well, there's two main factors. Thinking distance and braking distance. Hi. First, First we will look, look at thinking distance. How fast you can stop a car depends on your reaction time. Your reaction time is how quickly your brain can tell part of your body to respond to something. Some humans have great reaction times. They can react to a situation in under 0.5 of a second. Others, however, have very poor reaction times. The distance that the car travels while the driver is trying to react to a dangerous situation is called the thinking distance. Just look at how the size of the thinking distance varies while we're just thinking about stopping. That's how far we travel at different speeds. The braking distance is the physical distance that it actually takes the car to stop. This depends on lots of factors like the condition of the car, the condition of its tyres and the condition of the road surface. The number of people in the car is also important along with lots of other factors which we'll look at later. Okay, now we're going to do an experiment. We're going to see if this car can stop before it hits this geek. We subjected our little genetically engineered geek to lots of tests and obstacles to see if she could stop the car before she hits our poor little geek. <laughs> What do the following things affect? The thinking distance or the braking distance? First of all, alcohol. Next, tiredness. And what about a wet road surface? Or mind-altering drugs? What about using a mobile phone and putting on your makeup while driving? How would poor visibility affect your overall stopping distance? And what about old age? Insanity or ice on the roads? While you're thinking about that, let's see if our mad driver can stop in time. Whoops, that'll be a no then. Oh well. Never mind. Back to more important matters. So, which of the things we saw affect your thinking distance? Alcohol, tiredness, drugs, distractions, poor visibility and age all affect your reaction time and make your thinking distance longer. Whereas the braking distance depends on the speed of the car, the road conditions, whether it's wet or icy, the condition of the car itself, like its tyres, the overall mass of the car, you know, the amount of luggage and the number of people. So, as you can see, different conditions affect your overall stopping distance massively. Whatever is important, <laughs> always stop for the rest of the tyres. The faster you go, the bigger the stopping distance is. So remember... Stopping distance equals thinking distance plus breaking distance. So don't forget, the faster you go, the bigger your overall stopping distance is going to be. And don't worry children, if one of our geeks dies, we simply grow another one. Uh.